What's going on guys, I'm Rob Schumacher from Palm Beach Dino and today we have Roger Feldner's 19 Mustang 10 speed in here with a Pro Charger on it. We're gonna go through that and show you why the Pro Charger is a great choice for these late model Mustangs. And before that, we're gonna take a walk through our new facility here and kind of show you what we got going on, some of the future stuff we have to bring to you, including some maybe Hellcat stuff. We'll see about that, but let's take a walk. So we we'll start off here with our sales office. We've got Mike, little Rob, AKA Rob Jr. He's not my son, even though some people think he is. It's so strange. We got Pierre, AKA Perry, my other favorite. Still a little, uh, you know, still moving in. Everything's not perfect yet. We gotta get some paint on the walls and some other stuff like that, but we're getting there. I have no idea. People love it. And through this door right here is gonna be our new install facility. It's currently under construction, but we'll take a look. All new lighting and stuff put in here today. Got a couple lifts that need to go in still. The floors have just been redone, epoxied and sealed. Just kind of moving stuff around, getting ready. Gonna have a couple lifts over here in this section over here, three lifts. Plenty of room to work on cars, so we'll actually have a good full install facility. You can ship your vehicle to us. Full turnkey, deliver back your CX-1100 like you've never even left it. Possibly machine shop. We're just using this bay for storage right now because we got too much stuff, as you can see. There's stuff everywhere, including whatever whatever that is. I don't know what that is. So we still have our other facility here. So the diner is going to stay, and obviously the customers are going to wait up front. Uh, we got bathroom, waiting room, you know, Xbox, all that good stuff up there. But this is where we're, I'm going to be hanging out most of the time. It's my diner facility at this point. It's GT500 capital of the world. You can't tell. We got seven of them on the lot today, including this beautiful carbon fiber track pack from Ryan Moran. <laughs> Dixon's, which is getting shipped home tomorrow. And we got, of course, our car here with the Whipple on it, 1300 wheel horsepower. Absolutely ridiculous. But so before we talk about Mr. Feldner's 19 GT, I kind of want to go over something that I've been seeing, like on the internet. People call, and there's a lot of emails, and people need help sometimes, and. There's a page that we have called support.pbdino.com, and I feel like it's a tool that's not really used that often. I don't really talk about it much, but it's a good opportunity too. You go on there, support.pbdino.com. If you have a question like, how do I log with my RTD? Where do I download RTD Flasher software? Where do I download? I can show you. Let's walk through everything, shall we? Come on. All right, so we log on our support.pbdino.com support site. The first thing you see is, how can we help? Let's say, for example, you have an RTD, and you need to know how to download something. So here it is, how to read your stock file with RTD. You can click the article, it's here. Here's the link how to download RTD Flasher. Some questions are answered here, and we have it for the UCAL we also use, the SCT, even the N-Gage, which is outdated now, but it still works. All the support stuff is there. If there's other things you guys want on there, if there's frequently asked questions that you guys think that would be beneficial to you and to me, I'll put them on there. So just leave them in the comments if you guys think that there's something that I can improve. If it makes my life easier, you know I'm for it. So let me know and we'll make it better by the day. And now finally, it's time to jump into the dyno and see what this Pro Charger can put down. After a few down of pulls, <clears throat> a couple uh, little keyboard tweaks, I think I'm finally happy here with a little bit more power than I expected to see on pump gas, but here we are. This is 789 horsepower on pure 93 octane. 
This has got a P1X on it with a set of Cook's headers, 1050s, a JMS booster pump, and a 3.7 grip tech. It's a little smaller than I would normally allow to go on 93, but we had no knock, so wherever he gets his 93 from works really well. But it brings me to my next point of talking about how good Pro Charger really is. You know, we're here, we're big proprietors of Whipple and Turbo and everything here, but you know, there's a soft spot in my heart for Pro Charger. I mean, this is a P1X on pump gas. You can't beat it. You can install it in four or five hours in your garage at home. I mean, this thing lives in a 10-speed world where it makes the most power. I mean, you shift, it comes back, you're literally set up for everything you could ever want out of a 10-speed. I mean, this thing would fly. We're gonna go take it for a drive and find out how fast it really is. Really, it drives really, really nice, yeah. It feels like stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm surprised. Like, there's so much that we do. Like, normally there's like, like, which is like, right. And like, so we, and then I make better. So, you kind of, I wouldn't tell anyone that, but you know. Well, you just told everybody on YouTube that. Perfect. <laughs> I guess I'll have to cut that out. I would cut that out. <laughs> My bad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, every it's gear. Every it's gear it spins. Alright, that's good enough. <laughs> so it drives like stock until you uh Yeah, until you go what? Holy yeah. shit, this thing's all over the road. Yeah, Woof. Yeah, this thing's an animal. Yeah, this thing's awesome. Oh, pump gas. So again, this is the P1X. P1X. P1X 93. Uh, yeah, 93, 1050s, booster pump, 780 wheel horsepower somehow. And this thing drives awesome. It's probably, in my opinion, one of like the most perfect packages for like a 10-speed car like this. Right. The P1X is like the perfect size for like something like this, and it runs and good, drives good, and it's just a good time. It makes plenty of power. You know what I mean? It's more than fun. For most guys. And then some guys want to go super fast, and that's fine too. There's definitely other options. But if you're a basic guy, you know this, like we're a Whipple or something super on the basic side, just leaving it like that. It makes a fun car. How to enter a highway. This thing's like undrivable. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? Yeah, too much gas. Yeah, so uh, we can do a wellness check on these people. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> uh, I don't recommend driving this home. Yeah. <laughs> don't sell them a wheel and tire package. Yeah. No, seriously, but like, yeah. I don't recommend selling Dude, this thing's bad. Like, like I would not drive it on this. Like, it could probably lose four pounds of boost and then maybe be drivable. It just, that was like cool as well. Yeah, man. That's ridiculous. These tires are like glass. I'm pretty sure it's a drift car. What do you got back here? They're Going bald. Too close. Yeah, they're bald <laughs> Futuras. <laughs> 60 pounds of air. You have no problem. Well, that about wraps us up here. Uh, if you like the channel, subscribe, comment, like, tell me what you want to hear, what you want to see. I'll give it to you.